So, uh, hey ho, this is Amazition00, and here's, uh, Distraction Part 2, I guess. Uh, distraction for you and for me, because, uh, still don't feel like grinding too much, I suppose. So, I found this game in my Steam library called Our Darker Purpose, and it doesn't really show much information on its own page. I mean, it does probably on its store page and everything, but I wanted it to be a surprise, so I just recently tried it out, and I think I kind of know what to call it. I might not have much to say, but at the very least, you can see a little bit of it. So what I have gathered of it so far, it's similar-ish to Binding of Isaac with slightly different um, things to call its own. Like, you know, it's not like a complete ripoff, but we'll remind you of it once you see it start moving. So here I'm just at the start screen, you have options, toggle full screen, you can get keyboard controls, and it does look like the gamepad is supported looking down to the lower right. I should remember. So it is very similar, but also... Um, kind of different. You can look at lore and achievements here. At the moment, I'm only on chapter one because uh, I, you know, died. I'm pretty sure it's slightly, it's like a ro roguelike. I'm not sure how random it is because it, it has its own branching path type of thing where you choose where you want to go in the hallways, but you can't go back. But you do still have like each floor you pick. There's like all these um, rooms you go into and whatnot. So, um, let's see. I think I could do something to upgrade before. And see statistics seems... Okay, they do. Oh, hey, sweet. I can see what they do. No, it's, it's not that I'm gonna remember what they do. So, yeah. I wish I could, uh, <laughs> some actually. Next thing. Full bow, okay. There's also a counselor here. Oh, there we go. I have to press enter for other, other things. So, I unlock statistics. The statistics have credits to leave them. But for here, these are class schedules, and I think they're upgrades. Uh, I'm not sure why, how to do this. It says one period left, so I don't know how much period uh, to equip them all. So I guess that's my limit to equipping. So yeah, I equip them and then I change things how I see fit, I suppose. You can press escape to go back to main menu, but anyway, enough of listening to me blabber. Let's try and get this going. Well, of course, there's a whole bunch of text, so you probably are going to hear me blabber on a lot. So yes, here's how it pretty much starts, I guess. The waking floors. Elderly Mr. L trusted three of his students most. Regan was pretty and all did as she told, for they sought her favor. Goneril was strong, and all did as she told, for they feared, feared her power. Third, Cordy was so shy that no one had ever heard her say a word. One day before Cordy's ninth birthday, she's only... Wow, she's young, and this crap is going on. That's kind of cruel. Anyway, for her ninth birthday, Mr. L was summoned to the administrator's office. He left the three in control of the room. The charismatic children ran to Regan, the athletic to Goneril, and the remainder drifted to Cordy. Regan's followers cackled as they joked and danced. Goneril's grunted as they sparred, and the quiet ones huddled closer to the corner, and Mr. L never came back. And Cordy saw Goneril and Regan signal each other, and then all the beautiful and powerful children attacked the quiet ones. The bookcases were pulled down, and the desks tossed about, and all the quiet children killed. Hmm, lovely. The victors poured out into the hallway delighted, for the teachers had vanished and the school was theirs. Except, hidden beneath the fallen bookcase, Cordy was alive, and she had discovered how to speak. What an odd story. It ends quickly and badly, I'm sure. Yes, it did for me last time. Yes. So, uh, I guess this is kind of like an orphanage school type of thing, because of uh, some other things I read. So yeah, you shoot. I, I guess these kids have powers, because she has, like, this electrical current that she shoots from looking at things. Use a health pot with Q, which is your juice box, and you have up to three stacks. I'm not sure if that increases. I did not get very far. Escape for options. C for character sheet. That would help if I looked at that. Yeah. So you use space to roll, and it does speed you up very briefly, if you can see. You'll be using roll quite a lot. It does show like a little cooldown on the space if you look at it down there, but the only thing you really have to worry about is just following the animation pretty much, so you don't really have to worry about it. And R, I guess, is their chalk cloud, but you have to find more chalk in order to use it. So I can only use it one time right now, and as far as I know, you can use it to uh, block projectiles and hurt enemies. It doesn't last for very long, though. So anyway, up or down, I'm up 
closer up, so I'll go up. Yes, it's random, so at least that confirms that it is pretty uh, random. Because the floors were different last time. I have run into these enemies before. But you know, not quite the same. Uh, that's a fancy room, I don't think I want to go there yet. Fancy door. Uh, oh yeah, this thing. Don't have any money though. So I guess that's a vending machine shop type of thing where if you find credits, you can buy stuff. Some of them are buffs that stay with you like you might have seen under the uh, achievements or item ca- Oh god. You might have seen under the achievements or lore and item collections or something. Cripes, calm down. Okay, really? I got to deal with too much. <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying now I'm walking into stuff. Because he, he, he dashes. Ah, okay. Converse next three attacks to four of paper. I don't see how that helps me, to be honest, but uh, hopefully I remember to use it. I already forgot what I was saying. Was I saying anything, <laughs> anything significant? Oh! And these people blow bubbles at me, which explode. Kind of. Into, I guess, toxic smoke. Mm. So yeah, it's kind of easy to get a bit overwhelmed. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, apparently you get actual experience in this, unlike Binding of Isaac, and you level up for perks. Along with, like, buffs with items and equipment type things for with the period or something. So I can choose a book to read because she's a quiet wallflower, I guess. I can choose Call of the Wild Furniture. 10% attack speed, deal 20% more damage against bosses. Well, that's nice. A better child will treat their home with more respect, says the administrators. The things the monsters carried. 5 damage, bonus. Enemies are 50% more likely to drop chalk juice boxes and tokens. I want that. One thing drops some garbage, another picks up some garbage. Boring. Well, I want stuff. I need stuff. I want things to drop. Yeah. I can't believe I have to make that noise just to react and dodge bubbles. Nothing else here. And there's not really many just things you can destroy, so those annoying things that are, um... Flying everywhere, along with all these desks in my way. I can't destroy them as far as I know. That's a fancy room. Don't want to go. Actually, I might have to go in there. I think that's it. Well, goody. And I have no money still, right? I have one. Uh. Sometimes I dream about room with infinite rows of desks in all directions. Why is... And the rows are perfect. Every desk in its proper place. Dot, dot, dot. Except when I then I notice everyone's creaking with fear and I'm trying to figure out why. Hey, look, I actually wanted to talk about my dream. I, I don't know why the furniture talks sometimes. It has happened. I'm not sure if students are hiding. Or... This is a different boss. So yeah, ran. I hate the fire. So yeah, fun fact: is heat seeking fire. Oh, oh, good. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna just hear me make a lot of noises because I don't really know what I should be doing. Just gonna try and react to this as I go and hope uh, and run into its face or roll into its face. <laughs> Are the kids building this in their sp spare time? Like, oh, Frothy the Dragon. I'm running into fire, grape juice, or I don't know if it's grape juice. Oh, now you're summoning two fire. Fun times. Uh. That's. Uh. Oh. Okay, so I've gone to, to, to less than half. I'm. I got progress. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah. This is okay. Now he's summoning three fire. Oh, go away. <laughs> Uh, um, how, how are you, 
How am I not hitting you? Well, yeah, don't dodge into the fire. Also, fun fact, that any grape juice you have left or don't have left carries over if you don't die. So if you have one or no grape juice or juice boxes, that's what you've got to deal with. And then you use this to complete the level and you're graded at the end, which makes you feel even worse. <laughs> that's like really good time for me and I feel bad. Allowing it to continue would be cruel, the administrators. Enter. This is where you pick the branching paths. I... You get higher rewards for certain ones, and then some of them are different. Sometimes the text is only different, like, near the end, so I don't really want to, you know, bore you with too much of that. So I guess I'll... The disquieting study halls, or the dilapidated dining halls. Oh, hmm, they both sound so lovely. <laughs> See, I apologize if this commentary is no good. I'll just do one more level and then I'll stop there because I've, I'm probably already like 15 minutes with how long I'm taking or something. Staircase ahead leads to the kitchen floor. These represent the social center of the house where students gather together to cook and serve each other food. Whether tossing knives at each to each other to set the table or balancing a cauldron of boiling stew, they approach their tasks with an anxious energy. I think I read that right. Anyway. Shirkers are encouraged to join in by their peers, as none want to risk time in one of the ice boxes. The kitchens, perhaps more than any other area, represent a triumph for Edgewood's values. The steps are littered with rags and scraps of paper, signs of a brog encampment. Chunks of the banister are missing, and someone's been prying up the nails from the floor. Hunger and desperation have driven these students to hunt in packs with improvised weapons. Stay away from the shadows and you'll be fine. We assure you that these are some of the friendliest students at Edgewood. The lights are broken on this floor. The Edgewood egalitarian dispensary devices are frightened and providing discounts. Oh, so those vending machines would give me discounts. You know if I actually found money. I mean, I have 50% chance, and yet I still don't find much stuff. Unless it's from 0% to 50%, then still whatever. <laughs> anyway. So, there's disquieting study halls. The staircase ahead leads to a classroom floor. These spaces represent the heart of Edgewood's mission, which is to instill its students with the values and skills to avoid the mistakes of their predecessors. Recent events have supposedly compromised the quality of a small number of the classrooms, with complaints concerning the integrity of the walls and chalkboards, but the rooms are still more than sufficient to serve their educational purposes. The steps are littered with rags and scraps of paper, blah blah blah. Same thing as the last one. The shrieks and yammering up ahead suggest that the inhabitants have discovered and pillaged one of Edgewood's secret juice box cabinets. So... Okay, so I think it gives you a hint also what conditions you have to deal with. This one says pitch black, which uh, d sounds horrible. This one says gluttonous, so they might drop more juice boxes. I went this way last time though, so I kind of want to go left. Okay, I'll deal with it. If I die, oh. I immediately regret my decision. If you can't tell, this sucks. Do I have to find a boss this way too? I have to dodge everything like this. Ugh. Okay. So far so good, but it's not good. <laughs> Oh yeah, those are the things that are frightened now, and there are going to be di discounts, but I still have no money! Ugh. How did you get money around here? I don't really find much whenever there is actually a shop around. Well, at least they're, they're being nice so far, and they're not giving me the ones that charge at me. I, I can't, um, work. Where are you? Oh, hi. You, this is close. I don't like this. <laughs> I think I should have taken the kids addicted to their grape juice sack. That no. Uh. Why are you hopping like a frog? Oh God. He. Um. And there's a machine over there that. Well, actually, he's hurting himself with it, so can you keep hopping over that way? Be a good spore, will you? Yeah, keep keep on doing that. <laughs> he's just gonna... Oh! Hey.
Okay, got him. We will not be cooked. No. Are the potatoes talking? We will not be chopped. No. Uh, we will not be baked or fried or diced. No. From here on, this is a game primarily about potatoes. Uh, I think they're losing their mind. Level up instantly on the next floor. Yay. Uh, this way? Oh, God, I was... Hey, these... These guys really suck when you can't see where you're going. Actually, these guys suck in general, because they're, they're just... They make you knock into stuff. Or find another enemy. Hi. What the heck are you dropping anyway? Is it like sharp paper? Oh, God, there's more of you. <laughs> Uh, can't- Oh, there's even more of you! Where the heck are you coming from? Well, probably just from the dark. I can't see. Um, you gotta die eventually, thank you. Or I- I- <sighs> Okay. <sighs> Can I find some more grape juice too soon? Oh, that wasn't fast enough. Oh, hey, I found one money. Credit. Whatever. Oh, level up. Is there an experience bar somewhere, or is this is all I have to go on? Anyway, choose a book to read. The Velveteer Cabinet. 10% attack speed, bonus cooldown on items by 20%. We assure you that the house security measures are quite subtle, subtle, and humane. Subtle, subtle. Ah, oh, pronunciation. The Gangs of New Edgewood. 20 damage. Are they weaker or are you stronger? Well, regretfully, you're still doomed. Doomed, doomed, doomed. Well, that wasn't very long, but I did that for a dramatic effect. <laughs> I usually like things that give me two bonus things, but is that me being greedy? 20 damage seems good. And I really don't find items very often to even worry about cooldown. Uh. Do this one. Oh, wait, I do have an item. It's the page thingy. Uh. Destroyed in 18. Uh. 14. Oh, I. I oh. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, I'm stuck. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh! Dang it! Well, that sucks. Okay, so I know for next time. That was a timed room where I'm supposed to get the treasure chest in time, but I thought I was supposed to just not die. But I should have figured because it didn't say, like, the one room I found has had survive for 15 seconds. So, yeah. So, another thing. Sorry, I'm not talking about gameplay much, but hopefully you're getting enough um, from watching. Um, you'll find machines like this sometimes, and if you attack them, it has a little area of effect thing. That's why I was talking about that hopping, that leapfrogging, pan on the head wearing student kid with an electronic. Electric ball sphere, sphere things? I can't talk anymore. Uh, you notice how lightning and fireballs just bounce right off of us? Some pretty impressive burlap in these sacks. Anyway, yeah, sometimes you'll find these machines and they hurt a lot. Well, not a lot, but I mean, they do just give you more grief. Anyway. Uh, I see you down there, trash can- uh, up there, trash cans. And I've completely missed. That time I didn't- Oh! Uh, uh. So yeah, I probably should have read more at the store page to see what exactly is going on here. It just seems like a school- Flesh orphanage gone horribly wrong. And this is the boss, and I have one juice box left. And, oh, and I just walked into spikes. Oh, this is, you know, this is, um, this is not fair to play it in the dark. 
because I don't even have my own light anymore for some reason. I just have to somehow follow this guy and kite him around, I guess, and hope I don't die. Okay. Oh, okay, so that recharge thing is actually helpful because that thing doesn't go away. It just, I just gotta wait for it to recharge. Oh god, that's awesome. What isn't awesome is this fighting field, like really. I'm gonna die. Because I can't, I can't avoid all this when I can't see. Oh. Uh. Scrapes, 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 scrapes. Ugh. No, he's dead. He's dead. Dead. Ha! Huh. Candelabra of longing? Press L to read. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, no, wait, I want to do it again. No! <laughs> God, I'm stupid. Okay, so, fun fact. After a boss, you'll see a little lower left thing. It says, the, whatever boss's name, press L, or just says L, and I did. And I should, I wanted to read the information about it, but I wanted to, um, for some reason, exit first. And that makes it so I can't see it now. Yay. And I still don't really have any money, even for the, <laughs> even for <laughs> the, uh, machine deck there. So I'm just gonna get my credits and go. Yeah, I suck. So D, I think, is the worst score you can get. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, um, <laughs> I hope you've gotten a feel of how the game goes. I'm not sure if I should continue this because this goes on for a while. Like, it doesn't even let me leave this menu until I guess die. Unless there's something wrong with the menu and it's a bug or something, but I'm pressing escape and it's not really letting me go. So, um, yeah, you can see I, um, I'm pressing down I can't go back down to this room, so I only have those choices ahead of me. So you do have your own little branching path things, and each one has their own little stat type of thing, rewards. And you'll get bonuses, of course, if you actually do good, which I did not. So I might continue to play this just to see how far I can get. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Again, sorry that wasn't too much, just mostly me reacting, but I haven't really played enough to learn much about the game. So, um... Yeah, I'll probably do more videos, at least maybe to show some friends or something if they don't have it. Anyway guys, bye!